In this video, I'm going to build a Hello World app in Blazor and talk you through some of the key aspects of what makes the app function. I'll be using Visual Studio 2022 for this, so make sure you have this installed. Uh, also in the Visual Studio installer, make sure that you have the ASP.NET and web development workload installed. Let's open up Visual Studio and click Create a New Project. Uh, in Search for Templates, just type Blazor. So we're going to be creating a Blazor server app. So select that and click Next. Give it a name and a location. And make sure .NET 7 is selected. And you can leave everything else as default. So once the app is created, if you open up Solution Explorer, Now you see some of the key files. Program CS. Now this is the entry point for the app that starts the server and where the app services and middleware are configured. App.razor, that's the root component for the app. Now the pages directory contains web pages for the app. And then in properties, launch settings.json. So I can run the app by pressing the play button up here. So let's open up in a browser. And it shows the home page, a counter component, and a fetch data component. Now the home page is actually called index.razor and it's located in the pages directory. You can click the hot reload button, which should apply the code changes. If you go into the counter page, press the click me button. There's an integer that increments by one. If you go into the fetch data page, this is pulling data from a couple of files, data files that have been pre-built for the app. So again, if I wanted to make a change, if I go into the counter, and I could do something like So going into the forecast page, I'll stop the app from running. Into the forecast page, which is um, the fetch data.razor. I'm going to add a line of code here that just gets the date and displays it. So in this code section, date time variable and 
and just replace this text. So the fetch data page, you can now see today's date. Uh, you can add these components to other pages. So if I wanted to add this counter component to the to the home page, we would go into index.razor. I'm going to comment that one out. So you see that the counter component has now been added to the home page. 